I think there's been a, certainly a national increase and a regional increase in knife crime and I think that maybe our tolerance to carrying knives and weapons as a society has increased. Dealing with the knife crime injuries quite, can be quite traumatic and actually for the families as well. Sometimes it's not the actual injury in managing and supporting the individual who's had the injury because you may, if it's a small wound, you may be able to manage them well and they may be able to go home um, back to normal life. But the relatives may be distressed, their friends may turn up and it can be very emotional and distressing. And if it's a recurring incident where we have young people's lives lost with knife crime, the emotional impact of that is quite severe and it's very important as a team that we debrief after that and support each other but ultimately it can be have a cumulative effect in the emotional well-being of individuals. If we look at education and skills in terms of knife crime, drugs uh, and actually understanding what's acceptable then that will hopefully have a bigger impact. I think we all have a role to play in terms of across health and well-being and local authorities in terms of starting early and supporting people in schools, giving teachers the tools and the education to actually manage knife crime and understand if they see triggers of people who may be involved in violence or may be at risk of becoming involved in violence, who to highlight, highlight that to and work with the local police community safety officers, work with local councils and work again with the education authorities to look at how we manage it.